to a very dear viewer, Isaac Meir Malek. Love this, love you, love your mind, more please. Yitzchak, you have a beautiful mind, and the mind that empowers other people, that says good things about other people, that finds the grace in other people, is the winning mindset. And that's what I have learned, that that empowerment, encouragement, a backdraft, a smile, a thumbs up, these are the values which are not counted in, in dollars and cents and in Bitcoin and in other measures of, of understanding and cognizing human value. And it is these, in this future age, it is the age of supporting, of inter-social support. And I, by no means, am saying that I am good at that. But rather, the sages who saw the great changes in humanity over many different periods of time are saying that the, what destroys humanity is senseless hatred and criticism and whining. And what saves the world is encouragement and love, senseless love. And I am by no means a lovey-dovey person, but in every way I realize that love and support, these are the key. So thank you very much, Yitzhak. And Savaya, Soraya Sylvester, thank you very much. You say, Tehila Friedman. I believe you're saying congratulations, Ambassador David Friedman, for your remarkable job. We in Israel have not seen such an impressive hero of the people of Israel. Your parents must be very proud. They called you David, as in the king of Israel, Malech, Melech. A king is your middle name, and Friedman, a person who has fr uh, 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 who have freed mankind. And indeed, for the Israeli people, you are a hero. No one recognizes you, interestingly. Not on the American side and not on the Israeli side. But you will go down in history as a great man for our people. Thank you very much, Ambassador David Friedman. And thank you very much, President Trump and your team. What an amazing man you are. You said and you did. You, President Trump, are a hero. And I see here T. Johnson again. God bless Israel. There is a, a incredibly interesting idea in the Bible it's where, where God promises those who bless Israel will be blessed. And so T. Johnson, bless you. Uh, it is very good to thank and to bless and to praise especially an entity which is struggling with great ideas. And the, and the psychic and the soul of Israel is really struggling with wonder, wonderful, wonderful and important ideas. So uh, thank you very much for your encouragement. We will do our best. Thank you for your blessings. And T, bless you. Kevin Garber, thank you very much from Sydney for your question. What do I think about the peace? peace on earth. I think that Israel is truly well positioned to achieve peace. I think that our partners, whoever they are that join us, whether they be the Palestinians, whether they be the Persians, whether they be our enemies, if they join us, we together will achieve peace. Because that is in our soul. Today, our partners is the greatest power in the world, the United States. May God bless them and strengthen them in everything they do. They are our partners to achieve peace through strength by intercepting missiles, by creating the technology that will ensure that no one will be able to affect us and no one will be able to change our determination to do wonders in the world for the betterment of humanity. So, to your question, Kevin, about peace... We will achieve peace with our partners, with America, and now our new partner, with the United Arab Emirates, with 
the the crown prince of the Emirates, Muhammad Ibn Zayed. Congratulations, crown prince. You have done a great thing for your country. You have done a great thing for your neighbor, for your neighbors, and for your religion. You are now engaged with Israel and the Jewish people in navigating and finding and ensuring a peaceful and prosperous way together for our peoples and for the entire world.